What's up, beautiful fam? Keep your heads up and your arms covered. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. And before I get into the signs and what I'm seeing our Father doing in the heavens, here's the verse of the day. And it's Romans 11.33. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. And I've said it many times, and we see the day approaching. But no one will know the day and hour until it happens. So we are to watch. So I'm watching right where he said the signs would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And as you can see right here, the sun is showing about 10 sunspots right now. And as you can see right here, forecasters expect the Geminid meteor shower to peak tonight and tomorrow and the next day. And again, the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. And right here, the astronomy picture of the day, you can see the Milky Way on the left, which looks like a bow. And on the right is another double bow, an aurora double bow. And right in the middle, there's a meteor. And this picture reminds me of Genesis 13, when our father was talking to Noah. And he told him, I do set my bow in the cloud. And it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And I'll do my best to show you how that ties together in this video. With the signs. And most of you know, Christina had a dream. And she was with our father. And she was pregnant. And she told him, now's not the time to be pregnant. And obviously in the dream, she didn't realize that she was dreaming. And our father showed her this calendar. And he told her, that's your due date. And she looked at the calendar and December 19th was circled. And right after we went past Hanukkah last year, Christina and I realized that Hanukkah this year starts on her due date on the calendar. When you go to Hebcow or the Torah calendar, I showed you, Hanukkah starts on December 18th and 19th. In 40 days from the last total blood moon eclipse, brings us right to the beginning of Hanukkah. In all glory to our Father in the Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, also known as Jesus Christ, the rock. He showed our brother that the last four blood moons that we just went past are all, all four of them, 2,598 days from each blood moon of the Tetrad in order. And the last solar eclipse was 2,598 days from the total solar eclipse that was right in the middle of the blood moon tetrad. And the gigantinormous part is, when you go to Strong's Bible Concordance for 2,598, the definition is Hanukkah. So it's not even a question. The truth is, our Father is pointing us to Hanukkah. And regardless if it's the rapture or not, it's all for His glory. In the sun, Yeshua. Again, the heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament sheweth his handiwork. And this is his handiwork right here. He said the signs would be in the sun, moon, and stars, and they are. And I'll get right back to Hanukkah. And it's obvious and blatant. These signs are in the sun and in the moon. And they're pointing to Hanukkah. And I'll show you what else I'm seeing when Hanukkah starts. But real quick, the signs are also in the stars. And this month, you can see all five bright wandering stars. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, and Venus. Bottom line, you can see all five bright wandering stars in the evening starting around December 8th. Then, toward the end of the month, Watch the moon pass each planet in turn. And I'll show you that right now. And there's Mars and the moon. 
And this happened during the full moon. And I showed you. And I'll walk you through it right now. It actually started on December 7th. And when you go to the 8th, you can see that the moon passes Mars. You go through the hours, you can really see it separate. Then as you go forward towards Hanukkah, you could see the moon is passing the woman. And we'll get back to that in just one second. Right about the 21st, the moon is approaching the sun. And as you go through the days of Hanukkah, you can see the moon passes the sun. And Venus and Mercury. And Saturn. And then, last but not least, Jupiter. Now I'll take you back to today, right now. And you can see the moon is entering what they call Leo, the lion. And as you go through the hours, you can see the moon right underneath the sickle, the backwards question mark, headed past Regulus, the heart of the lion. And as you go ahead... To the beginning of Hanukkah, you can see the moon headed for Spica, the wheat, and it's right in the woman's stomach, and it's headed right for the asteroid Yeshua. And as you go through the hours, right on the first day of Hanukkah, you could see. There's an asteroid Pomona underneath Spica, and I'll go over that in a second. You can see the moon lines right up with the asteroid Yeshua on the first day of Hanukkah, family. Right there. It's perfectly lined up with Yeshua and Spica. And it's not a coincidence that this happens on the first day of Hanukkah. Oh no. This is his handiwork. So remember, Hanukkah starts on the 18th and the 19th. And when you go to the 19th, you can see the moon right there. And I showed you this before too. And it's the asteroid Adoria. And Adoria also means wheat, just like Spica. So on the 18th, the moon is lined up with Yeshua and Spica, the wheat. And on the 19th, the moon is lined up with Adoria, the wheat. And it's right next to Iris. And this ties in with the times of Noah and the rainbow. Right here, Bible study tools. Iris, the definition is a rainbow. And right above that is Pomona, the asteroid Pomona. And I always type in Bible meaning because... A lot of these asteroids are named after false gods. And that's what pops up when you search them. Like right here, it says that it's some false god who presided over fruit trees. But when you scroll down, you can see right here, it says that it's a Christian Greek baby girl name, meaning apple. And when you scroll down to the next one, Jewish Journal, it says that it also means apple and fruit full of grains, seeds, grains like the wheat. And it ties into Spica the wheat, Adoria the wheat. And right underneath that is the asteroid Psyche. And a lot of you know what that means. But did you also know that it means soul? Well, it does. It's right here. Strong's 5590 Psyche. The definition is breath, the soul. Usage, the vital breath, breath of life, the human soul. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And when the flesh dies, Ecclesiastes 12 7, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. And the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Until the resurrection, when the dead in Christ rise first and we meet them in the air to be with Yeshua forever. 
And that day is approaching and it's moments away. And this morning, after I finished my morning prayers, before I opened the Bible, I asked Yeshua to give me something to share with you, and he brought me right to Mark chapter 14, verse 62. And Jesus said, I am, and ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. 